Hello everyone. This video is going to talk about how to fix WD hard drive by replacing the controller board. Locate the model number of the hard drive. Locate the board number of the hard drive PCB board. You may go to www.hdd-parts.com in the search box input the board number and then click on go. The correct donor board is found. PCB board firmware. PCB board firmware is the information data on the PCB board. It may be in the memory chip or in the main chip on the PCB board. For this model hard drive, we have to do the PCB board firmware transfer first then we swap the PCB board. Otherwise, the new board will not work on the original hard drive. Why do we have to do the PCB board firmware transfer? Because for this model hard drive, one PCB board includes two parts, hardware and firmware. The PCB board firmware includes hard drive's unique configuration data. The hard drive needs this unique configuration data to work. So we have to transfer this unique configuration data from the original board to the donor board. Then the donor board can work on the original hard drive. Regarding the hard drive PCB board firmware transfer, we have three things to mention. First, PCB board firmware transfer is different from the hard drive firmware upgrade. The PCB board firmware transfer is to transfer the PCB board firmware from one board to another board. The hard drive firmware upgrade is to upgrade the hard drive's own firmware. It nothing to do with another hard drive or another PCB board. Second, we can do the PCB board firmware transfer from the physically damaged PCB board, like a burned, watered, or other kind of damage. Our PCB board firmware transfer success rate is more than 95%. Third, we do the PCB board firmware transfer for our clients for free. This picture illustrated the procedure of fixing a hard drive PCB board. First, the clients sent in their PCB board. Two, we fix the PCB board. Three, we ship back the PCB board to the clients. We receive many questions regarding the hard drive PCB board firmware also called hard drive PCB board bias and uh, the hard drive PCB board compatibility. So let's talk a little bit more about this in general. Some PCB board BIOS are in the independent memory chip like the first picture shows. Some PCB board BIOS are integrated into the main IC like the second picture shows. Most of the modern hard drive PCB boards need to do the BIOS transfer before swapping the PCB board. Even the donor boards are identical with the original boards in hardware. We have to transfer the BIOS from the original board to the donor board then the donor board can work on the original hard drive. The third picture shows some of these PCB boards. But there are some hard drive PCB boards do not need the BIOS transfer. As long as the donor boards are identical with the original boards, you can swap the boards directly. The fourth picture shows some of this kind of boards. 
if you have any questions, such as how to find a donor board, if your board need to do the bias transfer, where is the bias of your PCB board? How to swap your PCB board? Please go to www.hdd-parts.com to check it out. Or you may take pictures of your hard drive and the PCB board and email to us. We will give you the correct answer. Thank you so much for taking your precious time to watch my video. Any comments are really appreciated. If this video is a little bit of help, could you please click on like to support me? Thank you again. Bye.